Hi, I'm Tony Bola, and I'm an AD nursing student here at Wilson State College, and today I'm going to be performing my IV medication skill. So first things first is I've gone to check my patient, and um, she has 10 out of 10 pain, and she's been prescribed some morphine. And so I'm going to go check my MAR, and I'm going to check my orders to make sure that everything is in order to um, do this. And so first things first is I'm going to check my healthcare provider ordered against my mark. And so I have Shirley Post, her birth date is 4-3-1987, and I have Shirley Post, birth date is 4-3-1987. We have an order here for uh, normal saline, 250 milliliters, with 20 millisilvins of potassium chloride, uh, IV at 125 milliliters an hour, and I've already checked her labs and her potassium is low, so this is a, a medication that we're okay to get. And then the MAR also says normal saline IV with 20 milliliters of potassium chloride at 125 milliliters an hour. Next we have morphine sulfate, four milligrams, IV push every two hours here and for pain. And then on the MAR we have morphine sulfate, four milligrams, IV push every two hours here and for pain. And so I've already done my um, dimensional analysis and I know that I'm gonna be giving um, excuse me, 10 milliliters of potassium chloride into my normal saline bag and 0.4 milligram or milliliters of morphine sulfate. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to the Pixis in the med room and I'm going to pull my medications, what I need. And so I, this will be my Pixis, I'm gonna pull my medications, bring them back to my, um, my MAR and I'm going to double check it. So it's gonna be my second med check. And so I have 0.9% normal saline big here. I have my potassium chloride that I need and I have my morphine sulfate. And these are correct according to my mark. And so my second med check is good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do my hand hygiene and I'm going to don a So first things first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prepare my morphine sulfate and I have my alcohol swab and I have my syringe, my needle, and got everything I need here. Okay, so first things first is I pop my cap and I'm going to um, rub for 10 to 15 seconds on the top of my morphine to make sure that it's clean and sterile. And then I'm going to open my syringe. And I'm going to open my needle. And we're going to attach the two. And then I'm going to draw up 0.4 milliliters of air to inject into my morphine bottle. Invert it. And then I'm going to pull up. Okay, there we go. Let's go back in. We're good to go. And then I gotta bring this back down and make sure my bevel is underneath where the mat is. There we go. All right, so, then I'm gonna double check and make sure that I have 0 0.4 milliliters of morphine and get my bubbles out. And then I double check with my second nurse that I have 0 0.4 milliliters. Okay. And then I'm going to actually grab my normal saline. Or I'm going to recap my needle first so that I don't get any needle sticks. Okay. Oops. And then get my normal saline flushed out. 
I got rid of that a little bit so I don't keep making a mess. And I'm going to uncap my needle again. There we go. And I'm going to pull up one milliliter. of saline, close the vat, recap, and now I've got my morphine sulfate medication and I verified it with my nurse and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead with that and we're going to take this needle off, put it into sharp, and I'm going to keep this sterile, well making sure that I had no bubbles prior to this and making sure that was primed. But to keep it sterile before I go to my patient's room, I'm going to put a sterile cap on there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a label for my morphine sulfate with my name, the drug, who it was um, drawn up by, and then I'd have the secondary nurse also initial it. Saying that it was verified. Okay, and that one is ready to go. And then I have my potassium chloride and my 0.9% um, normal saline for the IV. And so, first things first, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open my bag with normal saline. And it looks like the bag is intact, everything is clear like it should be, there's no messes and nothing is leaking in my bag. Okay, and so this is the 0.9% normal saline on my MAR and that's also what I have. And the potassium chloride again, 20 mil equivalents is what I'm going to be pulling up out of the bottle of potassium chloride. So what I need for this one, I have here. So we have that, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prepare this. Making sure to keep everything sterile. Okay. Then I'm going to pull up 10 milliliters of air because that's what I'm going to inject into the bottle. Take my needle off, inject into that, giving it the air, and we're going to come back like this. It's only dripping because this bottle has been reused and in normal life we would never ever do that. And prior to this I would have cleaned the top of my bottle off with a alcohol swab as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on all of my bubbles. Once all the bubbles are out, I'm going to make sure that I'm primed to exactly 10 milliliters of potassium chloride. And then I'm going to recap. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use alcohol wipe on here. Doing it for 10 to 15 seconds. And this is the port that I need to be using for the sodium, or for, <laughs> for the normal saline. 
<laughs> injecting the potassium chloride. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my needle glass. And we're going to inject the potassium chloride into the normal saline ever so carefully, making sure not to poke ourselves or the sides of the bag. That's out. Scoop. Sharps. And then we're going to just mix it ever so gently back and forth to make sure that it's mixed up. And then I'm going to put a label on here with all the information that is needed according to facility policy. And a name label as well. And then I'm going to double check and make sure I have all the medications I need before going into my patient's room. And so I have my morphine sulfate, I have my potassium chloride mixed in my normal saline, and that is what is on my medication administration record. I would take my gloves off, do my hand hygiene, and then I would head to my patient's room with my medications and um, also the other medications so that I can scan them when I get to my patient's room and we can make sure um, everything is correct. And so, knock, knock, knock. Hi, my name is Tony, and I'll be your nurse today. Can I get your name and date of birth? We have Shirley Coast, birth date 4-3-1987, and on my Mar, it's also Shirley Coast, birth date 4-3-1987. Hi, Mar, Mar, or Shirley, how are you feeling today? Good, good. Uh, uh, what's your pain at today? It's a 10 out of 10, okay. Well, the doctor had ordered some morphine sulfate for you, and so we're gonna go ahead and give you your morphine sulfate. And then I just wanna check your, um, IV to make sure that everything uh, is, there's no infiltration, there is no um, redness or swelling, and everything looks like it's working correctly before I give you any medication through the uh, IV, okay? All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and do my hand hygiene. I'm gonna scan my medications in, and I'm going to put gloves on again. And I have my daily flushes. So I've scanned my medications. We'll put those to the side for now. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the morphine sulfate. And so surely we're going to go ahead and do your morphine sulfate, okay? And so we're going to go ahead. We're going to open up the saline flush. And we're going to do that first. Yeah, pull back just a hair. Make sure there's no water or air in there. I'm going to open this up. We're going to connect that. And we're going to pull back just a hair just to take a little bit of blood to make sure there's that uh, there's no infiltration and that everything will be patent and goes through okay and so here we go we're going to go ahead and flush saline ever so nice and slow to make sure everything goes through okay shirley you let me know if you're having any troubles whatsoever everything feeling okay just a little burning okay yep that's absolutely fine and totally normal so just want to make sure that you're doing okay Okay, and that's done. And now we have your morphine. And so we're gonna go ahead and push that in, okay? Make sure we swab for 10 to 15 seconds. And prior to the flush, I would have done the same thing just to make sure that everything was clean. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the morphine. And then over two minutes, we'll, um, would be pushing the medication in and there would be be checking your time pushing the medication in medication all right everything went through nicely and that was over two minutes again and we'll get another test Another one is what we'll grab. And we'll wipe again for 10 to 15 seconds. Throw it and flush again, just to make sure that all the morphine um, got in there. Okay. 
good to go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start the sodium chloride. And again, I checked to make sure that my sodium or potassium chloride uh, with the normal saline is um, clear and we check the mar and I scanned everything and we're good to go with that again. Okay. So next we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our tubing ready. And so this normally would be in a bag, but because I've used it before for practice, this is um, how it would, but the bag would be unopened. It would be untouched. Everything would look wrapped up and clean and it would be sterile inside the package. So we have our bag of medication and we also have our tubing, which we would pull out and unwrap ever so carefully. Okay. We've got that, everything's unwrapped, we're good to go. Set that back down and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wipe the port on the medication for 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're gonna pick up the sterile ends here, take our cap off and we're going to insert And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hang this. And then I'm going to fill this half ways. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this and I'm going to prime the line, making sure that the tent is open as well making sure that there is no air bubbles all the way down and that my cassette is filling up. Then I would turn it this way, making sure my cassette is filling up. Open this just a little bit at the end to make it easier for everything to go through. And then we have dribbles and then everything is good. I don't want to waste too much medication. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, make sure my cap is still on. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to insert this for our patient. Again, we would wipe the port. For 10 to 15 seconds. Take off our sterile cover and we would connect okay everything is connected everything there's no bubbles and then we would turn our machine on and we're going to set it up for potassium chloride and we're going to do 125 milliliters an hour with a total of the 250 milliliters infusing and so what i would do is i would before i threw my um morphine sulfate needle into the sharps container i would actually verify with a second nurse before we um got rid of it to make sure that it got disposed of properly um and then we'd make sure that we had all our medications i would take off my gloves do my hand hygiene do my documentation as needed make sure that shirley didn't need anything and that everything was working correctly i'd be checking on her um probably every 15 20 minutes after doing the morphine to see how her pain was doing and making sure she's feeling okay and that she doesn't have any respiratory depression. And so then um, there was an order to just do the, the infusion of the potassium chloride and the bag is done infusing. And so now we need to go back into the patient's room and we need to discontinue the potassium chloride line. And so I would knock, knock, hi Shirley. It's Tony and I was just going to come in and discontinue your line since your medication is done and I'm going to check your name and date of birth. Shirley Coast, we've got 4-3-1987, 4-3-1987, absolutely. And then um, we've got everything here that we need. We've got the saline flush to be able to do. The IV tubing was on here, just to make sure. <laughs> um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead, shut the machine off, 
making sure that everything is still working correctly. The steam goes off, and so we would do um, grabbing one of these again. And so we're just going to go ahead and disconnect. And I have a little blue cover to keep it sterile. And we would just keep it up here in case you needed more um, potassium in the future so we didn't have to waste any um, supplies. And then we would go ahead and do the 10 to 15 seconds. We're gonna do another saline flush, just to make sure she got all our medications. Okay, no bubbles. Everything looks good. Everything's open down here. Go ahead and flush with three mils. Okay, clean. And then we would go ahead and close this. Gather all of our supplies, gather all of our garbage. Everything looks good over here. Everything's hanging in the proper place. We checked to make sure he wasn't um, having any issues, give her her call light, and let her know that if anything that she needed, that we would be back in the room whenever we take off our gloves, do our hand hygiene, go back to the nursing station, do our documentation of what meds we gave, how long it took to infuse them, um, who and when, what time, what day, and uh, just um, initial the time when we stop the IV. And that is it.